And welcome everyone to ChasingTheMezzo.com. Today we are live streaming a single player haul at 6.26 a.m. in the morning because I cannot sleep. With that being said, we are in the Kenworth K100 long cab version. And I thought, since I am an emergency management student, that we would haul some FEMA trailers today to Oakland, California, and assist where assist is needed. So with that being said, let's get on the road! I hope that your day is going well, wherever you are. I'm excited to say that I will be bringing a lot of multiplayer live streams to the channel showing off this fun game. I actually already have a few comp compilation videos that I have ready to put on YouTube or possibly somewhere else showing some of the fun stuff that I have encountered so far. I have this new character for American Truck Simulator Online called Big Mama. She sounds... She sounds a little like this. What you doing, Big Mama? It sounds a little bit like that. Um... Oh, whoops, I did not notice that. Well, she sounds a little bit like this. And a lot of people already love that character online. A lot of people are laughing at it. Whether that's a good thing or not, I don't know. But hey, people are laughing, so it must be a good thing. We're here in Klamath Falls. Um, I will also be playing a lot more of Flashing Lights, that very, very fun police, EMS, and fire simulator video game. Well, I don't know if it's technically a simulator, but it is a fun video game. And the fun thing about that is that this month, they are actually coming out with a new update. So in May, they did mainly an update to fix bugs and all of that. But this month, they're doing an update that will allow us to change the LED warning lights. The colors of it. So instead of just having red and blue, I can now, once this update comes out, I will now be able to have like green and red if I want, or blue and yellow, or you know, anything like that. And that will be fun. You can expect a lot more footage or a lot more live streams with that game because I really do love getting into the RP. It's a very fun game to play. So, yeah, we can expect more of that. Today's music. Actually, I already told you what, what who today's music is sponsored by, or not sponsored, but who it's provided by. Sorry, I've been up for a pretty long time now.
gonna pull over here quickly because I do want to check something. Put our hazards on. All right, there we go. We are back off. Turn our hazards off. We are good to go. Oh, we just had a malfunction. What? Also using a Thrustmaster steering wheel to power this absolute beast of a truck. I also have a pretty good dead zone on, so that's why. And our game just crashed. Imagine that. Our game just crashed. Oh, there we go. It's back. That was really weird. That was really weird. Also, at the same time, the music went off. So let's just pull over here. Turn some music back on. Not really sure what just happened, but that is all right. Mistakes do happen in life. We are back. <coughs> Sorry if you just heard any of that coughing or anything. Should be a very fun month ahead. I'll also be doing a lot of travels across Oklahoma in this game because I do have the West Coast or Coast to Coast mod installed. Oh my gosh, it just went completely dark here. I'm gonna have to find a place to stop and get that switched out because that is horrible. Could not have that happening on a dark road in the middle of nowhere. Our speed limit is 55, so we're gonna put a coast. We're gonna put a cruise control here. Not coast. You can tell I've been up for a while because I have absolutely no idea what I'm saying half the time. And I do know my brights are on. But I'm going with the beat. I was going with the beat there. Yeah, the music is here in the event that, you know, there's some dead air from me not talking and, you know, you guys can just jam out and chat.
Look at this guy trying to turn right on red right as I start my truck up. Cannot wait until we get these FEMA or this FEMA trailer down to Oakland and help out those people. This is just a very calm trip right now. Uh, I guess actually we're getting back on the interstate. I swear it told me to get off a second ago. Am I crazy or did that did that happen? Because I swear it told me to get off. I don't know. I might be thinking crazy here. That wouldn't be the first time. Look at this semi driver. What are you doing? You can't just. No, what are you doing? What in the world? Yeah, I hope that your family is in good health and that you are in good health during this crazy time. We're gonna pass this guy up here because he literally just, I mean, apparently he didn't see us. We're actually either going to have to pass him real quick here, well, I'm just going to let him go because I need to get into this lane. Hurry up. And we are headed on Highway 44, exit 678B. feeling I'm driving way too quick. It's 
Surprisingly, I'm really not. I'm only going 57 right now. Look at this pretty truck and this pretty trailer though. Very pretty truck. So yeah, I am an emergency management student. Um, currently have only a few semesters left. Now we'll have my degree in it. And we are here in Reading. Well, actually we're leaving it, but um, yeah. So that's kind of why I play a lot of emergency games. I might be getting emergency four soon. I know some people when they hear that they might be like, why aren't you just getting emergency five? It's, it's newer, it's out, or like emergency 2020 or 2017 or whatever. And the reason why is because emergency four has a ton of mods out for it. And it looks like the kind of game I would like to play. Along with the fact, oh, I got a speeding violation. How fast am I going? Oh, this is a 30, my bad. And Emergency 4 also looks like, just, it looks like a fun game. And not just a fun game, but it's a game that I have been extremely interested in since it came out in 2006, 2007, one of those two years. And I have just wanted to play the heck out of that game since then. And like I've always said guys, mods will keep a game alive and that is definitely the case for Emergency 4. Same as NASCAR Racing Season 2003. One of my most favorite games that I've probably played on the PC for sure. And that game is still alive because of mods. Back up to 55 we go. So yeah, that's why I play a lot of uh, law enforcement simulators or, you know, fire simulators or EMS simulators or whatever. Um, if it has anything to do with emergencies, kind of stuff. I am interested in it. Um, might play the game Storm Chaser soon. As we all know, I am a Storm Chaser in real life. And I do chase on the beautiful Southern Plains in the United States. So yeah, we might play a little bit of that game as well. And then some SimCity 4, because guys, that's my all-time favorite game ever. I, I have easily over a thousand hours in that game. But yeah, I, the whole point of that was mainly to say that my live streaming days are back. And I'm pretty excited to be back. Oh, we just had an engine malfunction. I totally forgot to look for an engine service place. Oh, what just happened? There we go. So yeah, that's some stuff that you can expect from me coming up soon. I can't remember if I covered it already, but I am using a Thrustmaster steering wheel. I used to have a Logitech G27, but I sold it in 2016, I believe. Whoops! So, 
You know what, since we're already at it, let's see how far we have to go. Okay, so we're actually technically going to Santa Cruz. There's a big difference between Santa Cruz and Oakland. And how many more hours do we have on that? Whoops. Seven more hours, 344 miles. And our out my engine is malfunctioning and I am forgetting how to talk. It's currently 6.47 a.m. at the time I'm recording this, or not recording, live streaming this. And I've been up all night ever since, I think, 11 a.m. yesterday. I just, I can't sleep right now, so keeping my mind active and busy with this game that's pretty fun to play. Really gotta figure this malfunctioning stuff out. I need to get to a service station soon. What does that say? We'll work ahead. Oh, so that's kind of cool. Looks like we could pick up some freight. Or not freight. Looks like we could pick up a bulldozer and haul it if we had no trailer. Where in the world does this go? Okay, right here. I was following the tracks and I was so confused. Bound and down, loaded up and trucking. We ain't gonna find out my underland. I don't know. That's all I know about that song. I don't really listen to country that much. So all I remember is eastbound and down, loaded up, and we're trucking, and we're also having a malfunction. Gosh, we. That's really starting to become more noticeable now. Yeah, I hope that you are enjoying the stream so far. I am having a lot of fun. Taking my mind off of things. And um, this will be our only haul of the stream because it is so early in the morning and I need to get some sleep. But I will give you guys some more streams later in the day whenever I wake up and after I'm done working. We are completely fine for fuel. Absolutely no one on this road. It's like we're on some kind of back road here. 
but it's like one of those back roads in the Texas Panhandle that like nobody ever travels on. As we can see, the sun is actually starting to come up, just like we're in real life right now. The sun just came up not too long ago. Looks like the interstate must be right next to us here because it looks like we have a bunch of scales. Slowing her down for this turn. I wonder if we're going to get on the interstate then. We we'll probably will soon here. Yeah, sun is coming up. We might have to actually stop and get a photo of the sunrise. What time is it in the game? I don't think it shows. Unless I'm missing something. So we'll just check here. Whoops. 5.26 a.m. We're almost to the time that it is in real, t real life right now. Currently 6:53 a.m. in uh, Oklahoma. We're gonna take a left here, and we're gonna get on the interstate, as I expected. Look at that beautiful sun rising. Oh no! What did we hit? Oh, I took this corner way too, way, 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 way too short. That is 100% my fault. I took this corner way too short. Yeah, look at the beautiful sunrise here in what I believe is California. Could be wrong. Might actually be in Nevada right now. I think we're gonna have to get off here. Yeah, we are. I think we might actually be in Nevada. Where are we? I am generally curious. Oh no, we are actually in. I don't know why I thought it was in Nevada. We have been in California for a while now. <laughs> it's way too early, y'all. So yeah, we are headed to San Fran.
I just now realized that I am slowing way down. My apologies on that. Get her back up to speed. Oh, damn, my engine malfunction. Oh, we're having our engine malfunctions like crazy now. Come on, I just need to get to another town here, which I think might be San Francisco, and then I'm gonna get it repaired. like this is actually our exit right here. Going to San Rafael. Just under 200 miles now until we deliver the clothes in the FEMA trailer to Oakland and I really hope San Rafael has a station or something that I can get repaired at. I doubt it but let's be hopeful. And it looks like they do actually have a service station, so that's good. Quick story about that, about those, I can't think of what the heck they're called right now. Street signals. I can't think of what they're called right now. But um, red lights, that's what they're called. So fun fact about that red light back there, I was actually stopped I was actually once stopped in Atoka, Oklahoma, or outside of Atoka, Oklahoma, at a red light that was in a similar situation where, and I just went right past it, where, um, so there was a construction site similar to the one that we just went past, and it had one of those red lights in it. However, for about 20 minutes at midnight, this thing stayed red. It never went green. So it never changed its color to let me go. And I was literally sitting there for 20 minutes, like legitimately 20 minutes. I, I counted it, because that's how bad it was. And um, for 20 minutes, I sat at this red light in the middle of nowhere at 12 a.m. thinking, man, am I being set up right now? Am I about to get murdered? So, because of that, I said the heck with this, and I just went through the light because nobody was coming. I'm in rural Oklahoma. And, yeah. 
thankfully that's never really happened again besides that one time, but I don't want that to ever happen again because that was kind of freaky for me. Oh, I had a feeling that was going to happen because I wasn't actually paying attention. You know what? Let's just... Let's just do this. Let's just do this because we're going there anyways. Alright, now we're going to be good. How far do we have to go here? Okay, we have to go through San Francisco, Oakland, and then the northern part of Santa Cruz. Let's do it! ways here. We are not clear to go yet. Alright, we're good to go. Let's do a wide turn here like we should be doing with this type of trailer. We have a 53 foot trailer with a long cab Kenworth K100, so you kind of have to give more room for this beautiful beast. right up there. There's a bear up in them sticks. I don't know what I'm trying to say. <laughs> Hopefully we'll be able to see the Golden State Bridge because I don't think we're actually going to go over it tonight. Like we got a county bear going after somebody. Kids is why you should never text and drive. Oh, we're going to be going right over it. Oh my gosh, yes. I have never been this part. And as you can see, I'm so excited. I'm going all over the place.
This is so unique. We're going over the Golden Gate Bridge right now. How cool is that? That's pretty cool. I can't even keep it in one lane. I'm so excited. And I'm getting speeding tickets, man. Oh my gosh. That is so unique. I've never been over the Golden State Bridge in this game. Looks like we have some tolls here coming up. So we will have to slow down for that as I'm literally all over the place, man. I guess I can just go right through it. Yes, sir. $25 is a lot, man. Oh my gosh. Wait your turn, Chevron guy. But I guess, whoa, really? But I guess considering how many um, wheat rims and tires are on the ground right now, Rims and tires, there it is. I guess how many tires are on the ground right now would make up for it being $25 because the more tires on the road, the more damage it does to that road. So here we are, we're gonna get off this road right here. We're gonna take a right. Hopefully we get stopped in time, we do. Look off to our left, nobody is coming, but we have to keep, we're just gonna stay pulled out here. Okay, we're gonna try to do this. Hopefully that guy slows down enough. And we did it, there we go. That's how you do it. Oh, might have gone stuck somewhere. Hold on. Come on. Get her out. And we got her. She's out. Look at these people running red lights. Jesus. Oh my gosh, right in front of me. We're gonna take a right here. We are in downtown San Francisco. Oh my gosh, how this would be a nightmare probably in real life. I would not wanna have to travel in any large city, especially like let's say New York City. That would be my worst nightmare if I was a truck driver, just because of how congested it is. Look both ways. We are good to go, I think. Yeah, we had kind of a blind spot there. try our hardest. Oh, we just ran it. Well, I should have stopped there.
almost to our destination. We just need to get out of San Francisco and then pass through, not even pass through, but pass to the west of Oakland and then we will be at our location basically in the northern part of Santa Cruz. Why do I have a feeling I'm gonna have to be in the right lane here? There are so many, by the way, there are so many turns in San Francisco, oh my gosh. That's crazy. I feel like I'm gonna have to be in the right lane, so I'm gonna get into the right lane. Well, I wasn't expecting that road. I was expecting it to... I was expecting it to go to the left and not have a road that continued to the straight of me. That's why I was in the right lane. But yes, we are gonna have to take a right here. It literally has us going on like a tour of San Francisco. This is ridiculous. I feel like there must have been a quicker way. But let me see. I'm just curious. I feel like I could have just taken this all the way down. You know what? I bet you I could have done that. Because this just seems ridiculous right now. And green light, now, now, there we go. I'm a magician, y'all. There's the Pacific Ocean! Woo! Woo! Oh my gosh, I had a feeling that was gonna happen. Literally, right when I was at that turn, I was like, I up, uh, that's about to happen. I was like, yep, yeah, that's about to happen right when I seen that turn. Yeah, that sucks. That wasn't on purpose at all. Looks like we might have some rain coming in. Let's just repair it, even though we don't really need to. So yeah, sorry about that. That was not intentional at all. You know, hold on. I really feel like this way would be quicker. And then going through this. 
I don't know. That, that, that it's the GPS. The GPS knows best. So let me check, check one more time. Yeah. See. So yeah, this way would be quicker. So I thought. Looks like it's about to rain though. Oh my gosh, are we really stuck right now? Are we really stuck? Y'all, I blame this on the fact that it's like really early in the morning here. It's 7.18 now in the morning. And I've been up literally all night long. I cannot wait to get this load <laughs> to the destination. I'm pretty tired right now. But yeah, we are past Oakland. So that's good. All we have left is Santa Cruz, I believe, which is a two hour, 40, my five minute. Four, I was gonna say two hour, 30 minute, two hour, 45 minutes, but yeah. Not that much longer to go. back on what I believe is I-5. And here we go. We are on the homebound, or home stretch. However you say it, home stretch, homebound, whatever. We are, we are getting closer and closer to our destination.
getting off right here at this exit for Santa Cruz and Fresno. We're going to take a right. Make sure nobody's coming to the left. Nope, nobody is. Let's do the... Typical wide load turn. And we are on our almost last to final road here before we put this trailer where it needs to go. Here we go, one final turn, and then we will be at the company with the FEMA trailer, ready to give them all of the clothes that they need for a disaster. So here we go, headed here on Highway 10. nobody's coming and we should definitely be fine and I believe our drop off is right up here yeah right up here to the right interesting place for a bunch of clothes to being delivered by FEMA if you ask me looks like we have a convoy happening right behind us I think three of those trucks yep three of them our exit for Santa Cruz where are we delivering this that's what I want to know where are we delivering these clothes because this is pretty this doesn't seem like an area that you would really deliver FEMA clothes to but okay Whatever floats your boat, I guess. Wait for this guy in his Peterbilt, I believe, to go. Wide, wide turn here. Are we bringing this down to a mining company? Why in the world do they need FEMA clothes? Or clothes from FEMA. I think we are. Yeah, coastline mining. We are bringing this stuff down to a mining company. That is quite interesting. Okay, let's see where they want this thing. I guess the mining company must have taken a huge impact or something. Let's play it safe. Okay, let's go this way. Uh, 
this might not have been a good spot. Oh yeah, it's actually fine. Let's go. Oh yeah, this was not the good spot. This was not a good spot. I, I had a good feeling this was not going to be a good place to go. This, this mining place is not set up for FEMA to come into it. It is extremely obvious. Okay, let's try the other way then. Yeah, let's try the other way. Come on. Come on. There we go. Yeah, I was thinking this was going to be the better way. Okay, let's try to park this up good. Miners, your coal miners, your FEMA trailer is here. Full of your FEMA clothes, I guess, that you need from your mine explosion. And there we have it, guys. The FEMA trailer has been delivered. And with that, I am going to let you guys go. Thank you so much for watching if you watched the entire video. And I will see you under the mezzo. Peace out. Thank you.